What's going on guys, RBG here bringing you another video on Transformers Reactivate and this is going to be a slight update if you even want to call it that because as you know Transformers Reactivate hasn't really been there in terms of news or any kind of development updates. We haven't heard anything from the developers that being splash damage and I honestly don't think we're going to be hearing anything about this game anytime soon because there are other Transformers games down the pipeline such as Transformers Earthspark which is based on the CG animated series on Paramount+. Plus. Hasbro seems to be focusing all their attention on that and currently this project is scheduled to come out in October. So as you can imagine that game is going to have a massive marketing campaign until it releases. And by the time it does release that's probably when we'll start seeing more things in terms of Transformers Reactivate. Because we're halfway through 2023 and Splash Damage promised that they'll be giving us some updates along with a beta this year. So I'm expecting it to drop somewhere in November or December. Which by the time we do get this information it will have been a long while, probably about a year because we got this reveal trailer back in December of last year. I thought that it would just be a all out onslaught of different details pertaining to the game but no it's been relatively cold. Even though an official website has dropped for this thing there hasn't been any announcements or press releases and I just want to know what the hell is going on. If I'm not mistaken, we don't even know all of the characters that will officially make it into this game. And I say that because everything that we do know is based off of leaks. And we don't even know if all those leaks are going to translate into the actual game or not. Because if you aren't aware, the game that we have now isn't the game that we were going to get. And what I mean by that was that Transformers Reactivate wasn't initially being worked on by the developers we have now, that being Splash Damage. It was being worked on by Certain Affinity. And based on what we've seen from those leaks, I could say that they were probably like 50% done with the game. Not really that much, but it was enough to know that they had a general idea of what they wanted this game to be and release out to the world. But all of that isn't necessarily indicative of what we'll be seeing with this version of the game that Splash Damage is cooking up. We just have the new name Transformers Reactivate and this CGI trailer to go off of. But anyways, as you all know, this is going to be the first major Transformers game we've gotten since 2015's Transformers Devastation. And unlike Devastation, Splash Damage's new game will have a co-op focus with up to four players being able to team up as these robots in disguise save humanity from a new threat. That threat being called the Legion, which is this big gigantic swarm hell bent on consuming any and everything. And now Earth's defense along with Transformers from both factions, the Autobots and Decepticons, have to unite to stop this dangerous new threat. And this is the information that's essentially keeping the hype going for this because we have so many questions pertaining to this new threat. How exactly are they going to function? Are they going to function as NPC bosses that are like copy and paste? Or are they going to come in like the locusts from Gears of War where they just swarm in around you and continue to consume you? Because they look very scary and this game already has a very dark and gritty aesthetic to it. So I'm wondering what kind of atmosphere the actual gameplay is going to have compared to the CGI cutscene we got. But Anyways guys, I don't want to just dwell on that, I want to talk about another leak that we got. That's right, we have something else that we have to talk about that might not make it into the game, but I have a nagging suspicion that it will, because it seems like the overall design aesthetic is going to be something that transfers over. A couple weeks ago, we got a new screenshot of Megatron from a scrap Transformers Reactivate trailer from when Certain Affinity was working on the game. Just want to point out that this isn't the first time we've seen the Decepticon High Lord, but it does look like a cool close-up visual of the character a bit low res but still enough to give you a good idea of what Transformers Reactivate could have been but you know this thing just looks very similar you know like I like how it still has that gritty aesthetic but it has a lot more color in it you see the traditional Decepticon purple emanating from his arm mounted fusion cannon and this tells me that they were just gonna go all out and show you these iconic characters in action as opposed to just keeping it a mystery rollout. Like if you remember when we got the announcement trailer for this game, we didn't know what it was. We thought it was going to be some kind of generic first person shooter consisting of these humans that maybe rode in mechs or something like that. If you didn't have a keen eye, you didn't see all the different cyberglyphics coming up from Bumblebee's heads up display as you see Ironhide and Ratchet on both sides storming to fight this threat. It wasn't until you saw the Transformers Reactivate logo that you knew that it was an official Transformers game. And that's what I love about that trailer. But it seems like certain affinity were just going to lay the hammer down and just let it be known that yes, this is a Transformers game. And you see Megatron at the front fighting this big threat. Now upon my first observation, I will say that it doesn't seem too far from what we've gotten. 
we know that the Legion is going to be at the forefront when it comes to villains. And as you can see, if you look close enough, you can kind of see one of the tendrils that we saw up in the uh, Reactivate trailer behind Megatron. It's almost like this giant shard that's corrupting the planet. And if you guys have seen the leaks, we kind of heard already that this thing is going to have like shard zones where you'll have to basically destroy these shards and replenish the planet and also salvage the remains of the different Autobots and Decepticons that have been corrupted in the process of these things. I'm not sure exactly how that's going to work, but I think that's a good gimmick to go off of because each shard zone could have different levels. And we already know this is going to be an online game, so I'd expect it to have some kind of RPG elements in there just to give that gameplay a lot more oomph and replayability. I'm pretty sure that specific iconic characters are going to be brainwashed and they're going to come in the form of boss battles that you'll have to defeat. I think I speak for everyone when I say we really want to see that. Like, we just don't want to see both teams allying with one another. I actually want to see, in some form or fashion, these characters go up against each other as opposed to just going up against this alien race of other unknown NPC characters that we don't really care about. And this doesn't just apply to the Decepticons. I want to see the Autobots be corrupted, man. Can you just imagine what it would be like to fight a souped up version of Optimus Prime that's hell bent on consuming you or just destroying you? Yeah, man, the possibilities are endless and I am here for it. But anyways, yeah, I want you guys to take a look at this original concept we found of Megatron a while back. Because pretty much this thing is a beat for beat copy of what we see from that concept. You see all the different lines and panels going across his chest. I think the only thing different that I can notice off the bat is that he has this shoulder mounted barrage missile cannon. Which basically establishes that yes, these characters are going to come with their own unique abilities that convert and stuff like that on their body. I know a lot of fans say they want to keep that style of transforming an arm or any other body part of the Transformer into a weapon to use. And I like that, you know, but I feel like they are going to implement weapons that are just handheld as opposed to just converting from your arm or any other appendage on the Transformers body. But anyways, also you see in the background that we have Optimus Prime standing alongside Megatron. And based on the leaks, they say that these two are missing in action. Like, I guess this is probably like in the wake of the actual takeover from the Legion. And somehow they got wiped out or maybe just spread apart from their groups. So we'll probably be tasked with finding this too, but I'm hoping we actually get a chance to play with them at the beginning of the game as opposed to just, you know, finding them later. Because who wants to play a game where both of the iconic leaders are missing for half of the story? Come on, man. But yeah, as I was saying, guys, this may have happened before the Legion just reigned supreme over the Earth and the Autobots. Uh, if you guys remember back in that leaked document we got, we heard about the Autobots and Decepticons waging a fierce battle for control of a, this weapon. And the battle ends in a massive explosion, decimating the Transformers forces and shattering this thing called the Aegis, which I'm pretty sure is a placeholder name. But they were basically the massive shard like we see up in this game. And the shard rains down on the Earth with a devastating impact and instantly starts corrupting the land and you see that up in the uh, actual trailer in some kind of way these things activated and began consuming all of earth's technology and the autobots and decepticons now one of the things i find interesting about this thing is that it comes from a trailer that was going to be released apparently in 2019 thanks largely in part to a twitter handle by the name of transformers reactivate updates they showed us the actual source from which this thing came, and it comes by way of something from Digital Domain. If you're into cinema like myself, you may recognize this name because they specialize in the visual effects department. They're a company that's known for creating digital imagery for feature films and advertisements for video games, and something they're no stranger towards is Transformers, particularly the Transformers movies. The company's work has been nominated for five Academy Awards for Best Visual Effects for movies like Apollo 13, True Lies, iRobot, Real Steel, and most of all, Transformers Dark of the Moon. And something else that you might recognize them for is Transformers Fall of Cybertron. You guys may remember that trailer called Humbling River where we see the Autobots destitute and ready for something big to happen to turn the tides of battle. Yes, they worked on that trailer. And according to this Digital Domain Annual Holdings Report for 2019, we were actually going to see something similar if not better in that year. Like, can you imagine what that was going to look like, man? I wouldn't be surprised if the trailer is just sitting somewhere in a file waiting to be leaked, and I can't wait to actually see that. I feel like there's so much potential with this game, and hopefully it does deliver because they made it a big, grandiose deal. 
We've had so many false flags where we thought certain affinity was working on it only to find out that they were going to work on something else. Stockholders were getting involved like Lay Yu and other companies that are associated with the property. So I thought it was never going to see the light of day. But it is cool and telling that we are actually going to get this game. I just hope it looks just as good as some of the leaks we saw. Because we already know it's going to be running on Unreal Engine 5. And I have an agonist suspicion that Splash Damage is going to take some of those designs and aesthetics and give them a current gen facelift. But man, I wish we could have saw this trailer. And hopefully they actually do just bring it out. Especially if it consists of all the same things. You know, if it's going to be that same premise and feature the Legion in all their horrendous glory, then by all means, just drop the trailer on there. You know, that'll be like a little placeholder just to keep the fans hyped. But anyways, that's all I got for you guys today. What are your thoughts on this? Do you feel like Splash Damage is going to keep the designs and overall vibe that Certain Affinity was working on with this game? Let me know in the comment section below. As always, I ask that you like or dislike the video. It doesn't have to be a thumbs up, you can give me a thumbs down. But if you really enjoyed this video, it would help me out tremendously if you shared it with all your friends and followers on all the different social media outlets. Sharing is caring. But once again, this is your boy RBG signing out on another video. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out. No,